Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate. And today I am in Brander Mill, Chesterfield County, Virginia. Brander Mill is a PUD, more formally known as a planned urban development. And this community is home to about 12,000 residents and it has 3,673 homes, all situated on about 2,800 acres. Uh, Brander Mill also has three swimming pools, about 15 miles of walking and jogging trails as well. So it's definitely a large community. Uh, it has a natural setting. One of the things that the developers wanted to do was to keep homes in a, in a natural type environment. Uh, as you can see, these homes are, uh, many of them are uh, contemporary in their styling. And you don't really see a lot of contemporary styling in the Central Virginia area. There's probably more here in this area than any place else in Central Virginia. Let's go on in and take a look. This home does have a, a pretty unusual floor plan. As we come in, uh, straight ahead we have the kitchen. Uh, our landing here is linole, actually it's laminate. It looks like wood, but it's actually laminate. Uh, very good, durable surface. Here to the left we have our open family room with vaulted ceilings. Nice tall ceilings and there also is a wood burning fireplace. As I come here into the corner, give you a view there towards the center. Uh, there to the left is where we just came in. We do have a partial wall. That partial wall there encompasses or encloses the kitchen. And uh, it's kind of an unusual feature. We don't really see that a lot. Here towards the back we have a nice large window. There are actually several very large windows here in this home. Uh, one of the things about Brander Mill is we typically don't have very big backyards and many of the owners have kept it in a very natural setting. You don't have any grass really to speak of back there or on the side. So if you're not the type of, if you're the type of person that does not really like to cut a lot of grass, this might be a good place for you to live. The carpet in this family room is in pretty good condition. I did notice a little bit of staining over here in the corner. I'm not sure what that is. It might just come up uh, very easily with a good steam cleaning. Here as we go into the kitchen, we do once again pick up with the laminate and that goes throughout the kitchen and the informal dining space. Uh, we do have a pantry here. Uh, the shelf covering is a little ugly, but of course you can change that out pretty easily. Uh, a couple of things that I would do in this kitchen just to give it a little updated look. Uh, the emerald green countertop, that's not to your liking, that can easily be changed out. The hardware, of course, can be changed out as well. And with those small renovations, I think it would completely transform this kitchen. The appliances do convey, they are older appliances, but everything is here. Washer, dryer, dishwasher, range, and refrigerator all convey. Fairly unusual in a government or bank owned property. Here in the informal dining space, we do have plenty of natural light. One neat feature here is we've got a large, large window and they put shelves here in front of the window. So it'd be an excellent place for plants. Uh, they would get plenty of sunlight and uh, just give it a nice, nice natural feel. Here on the deck, we actually have a really good sized deck. Um, plenty of space for your outdoor furniture and barbecue. One thing about the wood siding here on this home, uh, I've seen a lot of homes where the wood will deteriorate and really need some attention. There's not many places on this home that really need a lot of attention as far as the exterior, which is definitely good. Here, straight ahead, we have our laundry. Uh, the home is all electric. Uh, we do have washer dryer, of course, in place, electric water heater, and of course our 200 amp electrical. So we're completely uh, self-contained here as far as appliances being ready to go in this home. We're going to go back out and to the right that is going to take us to the actual living portion or bedroom portion of the home. Here we have a coat closet conveniently located near the front door and as we come down this hallway we have a hall bath. 
Uh, in this bathroom, we've got a pretty dated vanity. I would probably switch that out, uh, bring in a modern fixture, and uh, just make that a nice modern uh, feature of this bathroom. The linoleum does not look bad at all. It's in good shape. The red solution, <coughs> excuse me, is because our toilet has been winterized and we have a fiberglass tub shower enclosure. <clears throat> One thing I really like about this home is that all three of our bedrooms are really good size. We don't have any tiny 10 by 10 bedrooms that are tough to, to utilize uh, unless you're kind of putting a, a crib or a very, very small child in them. All these bedrooms also do have nice large windows uh, and ample closet space. As I said, this home is all electric and that means our heating and air is a heat pump here in this home. We've got a coat closet there and then straight ahead at the end of the closet, we have a linen closet. Here to the left, we have our second secondary bedroom. This one's even a little bit brighter than the last one. Still very good size in this room. We've got popcorn ceiling. There is no ceiling fixture in this room. It's switched to one of the outlets, so you would need lamps in here for illumination. Our master bedroom here is on the back corner of the house. Uh, one good thing about this is we do have his and her closets in addition to that large window there looking out to the rear. Here is our her closet and they came in and they modified this one. They put shelving in. Naturally that shelving can come out if not needed and just make it a, um, a bar there for your hangers and then of course this small closet is his and it is a fairly deep closet um, deeper than most closets that you would see this is an interesting feature they did uh, you would never see this on a modern home that was built today but they have an opening here into the master bath and then you have to the left a vanity and to the right a vanity and then you have a door which goes into the water closet and then to the right we have a large shower this shower is actually big enough they almost could have put a full-blown tub shower in here but uh, this is just a large shower in its current configuration also if this brown is not to your liking that can also be changed out in terms of color there are coatings that will change that brown to any color in the rainbow that you desire and that would completely transform the look of this brown and purple color scheme that's going on right now that uh, is not really working for me down here on the floor we do have a little discoloration not a big deal linoleum is very very cheap and you're not talking about a whole lot of linoleum there in that bathroom so definitely a um a very workable uh, upgrade that would make this uh, home really shine. Uh, if this is a little bit too much work for you or this floor plan doesn't quite work for you, there are plenty of homes available right now in Brander Mill and I'd be happy to find one that does work for you. One of the benefits of a buyer's agent is the agent works solely for the purchaser. They have no fiduciary responsibility to the seller. And for anyone that's been around Richmond metro area for any amount of time, you remember years ago, there was a big issue with what they call shrink swell soil. And it particularly hit Brander Mill hard. There were a lot of people that suffered major, major losses and had major repairs needed due to shrink swell soil. And basically what happened was over time, the soil would, the soil would shift and you have issues as far as structural problems uh, i am not sure if this is a structural issue that you might be able to see here but whenever we see cracks that are developing in foundation we always recommend that someone consult with a qualified home inspector or other building professional to see exactly what's going on with that situation 
as a buyer's agent, that would be my duty to mention not only has this area had issues with that particular problem, but more importantly, to point out that small thing that I just saw, which could be evidence of a much, much bigger problem. Not saying that this home does have a problem, I'm just saying that that would definitely be something that should be looked at by someone that is a subject matter expert. Okay, well that is the rear of this home. Once again, it's a pretty modest backyard, but for a lot of people, it's just perfect because they don't have to maintain a whole lot back here. Very, very natural setting, as you can see. Okay, I think this was the first video that I've done in Brander Mill. Uh, as I said earlier, my name is Max Williams. I can be reached at 402-7788 if you have any questions for me or if you'd like for me to put you on my list of bank and governmental homes, I'd be happy to do that. My experience has been that the really good homes, the really good deals, don't stay on the market long and often they're here and gone within five to ten days or less. Max Williams, 402-7788. I can be reached via the web at richmondhouseinfo.com. Thanks for taking a tour with me. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to hearing from you soon.